For our capstone, the team tackled designing and developing an autonomous vehicle to compete in the intelligent ground vehicle competition self-drive. Our team particularly focused on achieving the five qualification tests, performing an emergency stop, lane following, stops on recognition, and left and right turns. The capstone's participation in the competition is part of a bigger picture, which is to complement current Army research regarding autonomous vehicles within RTK. The team is composed of 10 cadets from three departments, Department of Civil and Mechanical Engineering, Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, and the Department of Systems Engineering. The team is headed by the project manager, Cadet Chris Little from Civil and Mechanical Engineering. The functional manager is Cadet Sam Poole from Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. The team's logistics and admin is handled by Cadet Sean Min and Cadet Edward Kang, respectively, from Systems Engineering. The team's sponsor is Mr. Gerald Lane from Great Lakes Systems and Technology, and another stakeholder is the Ground Vehicle Systems Center of the United States Army. Here is a demonstration of our lane following pipeline as one of our advisors, Dr. Gonzalez, drives the gym along this white line. It begins by finding the white line and determining the distance to the car. Then, using the assumption of 8 foot wide lanes from IGBC, we can calculate how far off center the car is. Lastly, this error is sent to our PD controller, which outputs a corrective steering angle. A PD, or proportional derivative controller, was used to adjust the steering angle to minimize the cross-track error between the vehicle and the desired path or lane line. PD was used as opposed to proportional or PID controllers because it offers the minimum necessary stability to bring the closed loop poles into the stable region. The controller takes the cross-track error's input and calculates the heading error and cross-track error rate, outputting the steering angle required to compensate for these errors. This is a closed loop feedback control that is over damp since this is the most realistic type of controller and is modeled after human behavior. Here we have our gym approaching a stop sign. As you can see, the speed decreases as it gets closer to the sign. Based on this output, our vehicle will stop slightly behind the white line as our IGVC qualification requirement only requires that we are within a foot of this white line, either behind it or in front of it. Here we have some of our stop sign tests, not all of them. However, this does give a rough summary of our tuning process. So as you can see that first graph there, there's a lot of plateaus and steep drop-offs, whereas in the last graph, it's more linear. We want this linear curve because that means the gym is coming to a gradual stop as it approaches the stop sign. Now, because we're using a fuzzy controller and there's uncertainty in our inputs, will never reach a perfect straight line. However, this approximation at the end is good enough. The several e-stops on the vehicle are powered by a single Arduino Uno, publishing information over ROS to the high-level vehicle manager node. It can be successfully activated wirelessly or through wired connections located around the vehicle to meet the safety requirements of IGVC.